What do you do with your mortality? I'm gonna talk about a few different methods that are out there. I would argue that probably the biggest impact that this antibiotic-free environment has had has been on the mortality in the industry, which affects growers. Now, I don't know if that's what they thought when the consumers pushed for this, but I would argue that's probably the biggest impact has been mortality. It used to be, what, 2-3% when we had antibiotic? Now, antibiotic-free has driven it anywhere from 8 to 12%, and we've almost accepted that. We increased the density and have accepted that higher mortality. So the question is, what do you do with all those dead birds? So there's a few different things. Number one, a burial. Number two, rendering. Uh, number three, an incinerator. And then when you go down to composting, you can use a compost drum, a lot of those that are out there now, or you can use your stack house or even a composting shed kind of combined. So what's the difference in all these? Now burial, I don't know of any state that actually allows it anymore. Uh, I know that Georgia, here in Georgia, if you're grandfathered in, there's still a lot of people have a lot of burial pits. So burial is really not much of an option today, these days. I have heard of some areas where they, where they do allow it, but burial obviously is the least expensive and the easiest, but it's not an option for most of you. The second one that we mentioned, rendering, basically is freezers. And I know this is pretty big in Alabama and some other areas. Um, and with a freezer, basically you take your mortality, put it in a freezer, but you have to be in, the, in an area where a service will come pick them up and they take them to the rendering facility. Now, if you got a processing plant in the area, you obviously have a rendering facility. So just because there may be a rendering facility in the area, unless you want to go take those birds up there yourself, you're going to have to have a service. Now, one of the things, you're going to have to buy a freezer. You're going to pay for the power monthly. Uh, obviously in the summer, you're going to have to pay a little more to keep that freezer running. But it's mostly dependent upon the service that will come out and pick up the frozen birds and take them on. So a lot of these are going to be cost a cost of mind that you're going to have to think about. So as far as rendering with freezers, a service, pay for the freezer, those kind of things. Incinerators have gotten some more popularity too. I say more popularity, but they are, they're, they're right up there too. An incinerator, first of all, you think, is it going to be environmentally okay? I mean, you know, we aren't, we're not supposed to burn anything these days. How about, I think it'll be okay with burning dead birds in the area. But these incinerators actually do a good job of taking care. You don't have a lot of smoke. It's not a lot of, um, it doesn't affect the environment that much. So what you've got is you just basically burn the birds, incinerate them, and you do have some byproducts you got to deal with. Now, what's the cost on that? Well, the incinerator is one thing. And depending on what size houses you have, how many incinerators you're going to need, how big. So the price can vary in those kind of things right there. And then you've got your gas bill. It either runs off propane or natural gas. So there are some costs with an incinerator. And then you have a little bit of a byproduct in that right there too. The next one is basically under a heading of composting, but we're going to go look at the composting drum. So these have really gotten popular in the last few years too. So a composting drum, basically you just feed them in and it has a slow turn. That drum is just going to slowly turn and by the time it gets to the end, you've got a, you've got a composted, broken down bird. Now you do have a byproduct, now you got to do something with that. But here's the thing with a composting drum. The price is not just for the drum, but you have to actually also get a concrete slab. You got to get a roof over that thing. And then the electricity to run it. So once again, here we are with the compost drum. Um, it's still price. It's still the things you have to think about on the price. So all of these things, except for the burial, which we talked about, you don't really, you, no price in that, but you're not allowed to do that. Then you got your freezer. You got to buy your incinerator, buying a compost drum. 
Which then brings us to probably the most common thing is just the compost shed. And sometimes it'll be in your stack house or sometimes it's a standalone compost shed. We actually did a video, I think it was last year or year before last, about stack houses. And we actually talked about how the NRCS will help um, subsidize some of this. You can qualify for grants and get all this and they'll help you, but they have to mandate how it's done. But when you talk about cost, if you can get the NRCS to help you with that, you're even doing better. But let's say you don't get any help. A compost shed can be a lot cheaper than some of the other things that we've already mentioned. Now, it is a little more labor intensive. You are going to have to turn it. You got to pile it. You got to get your litter and coat the birds. In fact, in that video, that stack house video that we did, we actually do a recipe of how to start your base layer, how to put the birds, keep them off from the inside. So there's a little bit of instruction on how to do that, but that is probably the most common because a compost shed is probably a little more economic. But then again, time is money as well. There's also another one that's on the horizon, getting a little bit of popularity, kind of new. It's a dehydrator. Basically, they dehydrate the bird, grind it. You still got a byproduct, and you still have to buy the machine, which is pretty pricey. But it's an interesting one that's coming out there now, too. Hope this was a help on the different things of you can use, methods that you can use when dealing with your mortality. If you've got any questions, feel free to give me a call, 1-800-608-3755, or email me, alan at southlandorganics.com. And if you got any ideas on these videos, something you would like to see, shout out to us, and we'll try to look it up and see what we can do. Until next time.